<laughs> you know, I, I got I got lucky right there, you know, playing hard a little bit, happened to be around the ball, caught me a little dive in there. I wish I stayed on my feet. But yeah, you know, it was just uh just happened to be in one of the play calls, trying to sell the man upfield, drop back a little bit. Like I said, just happened to be around the ball. But yeah, it was uh I think, I think I spoke it into existence. I was talking about it. I've been talking about it all camp. I said, I'm going to get me one before it's the end of it. Man. Yeah, I think, I think that was it. I'm going to aim for one more. I'm What's it like when you get the ball in your hands like that? <sighs> had a flashback to 2017. You know, dropped back a couple yards. Throw that deep ball, you feel me? But, <laughs> but nah, yeah, it, it was a good feeling, man. It was a good feeling. You know, we was uh, at the play before that, you know, I had uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't the sharpest, it wasn't the best. Kind of uh, kind of got in my head just a little bit because, you know, we are working on, you know, getting call links and stuff like that because you know how it is in the game. And, uh, you know, just, just working on trying to bounce back, not, uh, not folding in situations like that, even when, you know, you get ran over. But, uh, but, yeah, that's all. Where do you feel like this defense is at with three weeks before the start of the season? You just feel like you're, you're on track? I feel, I feel like I feel like we are on track. We're on a good track. Yeah, it's the only the only thing is we're just working on execution in all ways with the ones, the one Bs, the one Cs, whatever we want to call it. We all we all one good team. Trying to find those twenty two like how we was talking about before. But uh, yeah, we're we're definitely on track. You talked all off season. You know, the guys you lost, that you feel confident. The guys coming back or the new guys. Do you feel like the past week and higher ground? And how you know, it's, it's kind of proven that point. I think I, I think it has, but I think we've got a lot more to prove as well. Like we have been talking about, we're uh, we're just trying to be us, but at the same time, we're trying to figure out who us is at the same time. But uh, I mean, at the end of the day, all, all we can ask for from you know the older guys and the younger guys is uh, just just trying to get them to follow follow in our footsteps, play harder. You know, when you make a mistake, it's, as long as you go hard and things things will be a race, you know, all is well. Seems like Dante Corleone's taken a, a big step over the past week or so. Tell me about what you've seen from him and. You know, increasing his his level of play. Being a younger guy like him in his second year, and you know, trying to really emphasize the little things with the guys in those first and second years like him, it's uh, it's really it's really put a strain on, it's really put a strain on those third year guys like uh, like Don Perry and uh, Justin Watley and such like that, and even on me because I mean, you see him doing his stuff, and it's like man, you, you sit there and think for a second, like man, let me, let me double check on myself too while I'm getting on his butt. You know, you feel me? But it's but it's good to see things like that because the younger guys and who are in his class and the guys around him, they're seeing that as well. He's elevating, and you know it doesn't. It's, it's, it's nothing but a good thing. A lot of batted balls, a lot of scrimmage, or close to it. Is that scouting report, or what was that, where did that come from? Just working on matching hands, man. Just working on matching hands. Effort and attitude. That's all it is. You guys tackled today. It was pretty physical out there. Did you guys need, you know, a scrimmage like this at this stage of camp? I think I think we did, and I think I really did too, because you know you get used to trying to you know practice hard and professional at the same time. It's so like you know I had a couple plays where like I'd get in the backfield kind of. Tagging, wrap them up real quick, and I'm like, oh wait, it is tackle. But you know, I'm just trying to take care of the guys at the same time, trying to play hard. So like, yeah, it, it is, it is good for uh, to get back in that mindset. So, you know, forget that it's actually football. You can take the man down. One more for Jabari. Want to weigh in on the quarterback competition? <laughs> nah, that's not that's not my business right now. We're trying to make them both better. <laughs> trying to make them both better. That's all I can say. You haven't thrown your name in the hat. <laughs> What'd you what'd you, you haven't thrown your name in the hat yet. I'm gonna I'm I'm go up there and write a little, write my little package on the board real quick for Gino. Hopefully nobody erases it, but you know, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go pick with him a little bit, see what he got from me this year. Thanks, Jabari. No problem. Thank you. All right, we'll do coach.